I'm Amanda Guerra, and in today's lesson, I'm going to talk about freezing and melting and the molar enthalpy of vaporization. The amount of heat energy needed to vaporize one mole of liquid at its boiling point is called the liquid's molar heat of vaporization. The magnitude of the molar heat of vaporization is a measure of the attraction between, part between the particles of liquid. The stronger this attraction is, the more energy that is required to overcome it results in a higher molar heat of vaporization. Compared with other liquids, water has an unusually high molar heat of vaporization. This is due to the extensive hydrogen bonding in liquid water. This property makes water a very effective cooling agent. Freezing involves a loss of heat energy by the liquid and it is represented by the equation here. The normal freezing point is the temperature at which the solid and the liquid are in equilibrium. At the freezing point, particles of the liquid and the solid have the same kinetic energy. The energy loss during freezing is a loss of potential energy that was present in the liquid. At the same time the energy decreases, there's a significant increase in particle order. This happens because the solid state of a substance is a lot more ordered than the liquid state of a substance. Melting, which is the reverse of freezing, also happens at a constant temperature. As solid melts, it continuously absorbs heat, which is represented in this equation here. At equilibrium, melting and freezing points happen at the same temperature. At normal atmospheric pressure, the temperature of a system containing ice and liquid water will remain at zero degrees Celsius as long as both ice and water are present. So that was just basically a little summary of what molar heat of vaporization and freezing and melting actually is. And the following two experiments kind of explain to you how things work and why these things happen. And yeah. Right now I'm going to do a freezing experiment and this is how it's going to go. I'm going to put water and oil in here and I'm going to, I'm going to freeze it. At first the oil will rise to the top and the water will be on the bottom. Well, after I put it in the freezer and leave it in there for a couple hours, it'll freeze and the oil will have gone to the bottom and the water will be at the top. Okay. So we're going to start off with four cups of water. Put the water in here. Alright, okay, so we're going to do one, and then two, three, and four. That's good. Now we're going to need just regular cooking oil. Okay, so we're going to need two cups of regular cooking oil. One. Okay, so now we need to let this sit for a few minutes so that the water and the oil have time to separate. Do, 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 do. As you can see, the water has gone to the bottom and the oil is at the top. But once we put it in the freezer and then we let it freeze, the water will be at the top while the oil is on the bottom. Okay, so now we're going to put it in the freezer for about two hours and... We'll come back and see how it's doing. So we're going to put it in here. And we'll let that sit. Okay, so it's been four hours and I'm so excited to see our experiment actually worked. Are you excited? Because I'm excited. All right. So, from what I can see, this is extremely frozen. Could probably kill someone with this. But another thing I can see is that the water has definitely risen to the top. Even though you can't really appreciate it because it kind of looks all the same on camera. It definitely has. You can see how it's how the color is. It's more yellow on the bottom, and it, you see it's 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 clearer on the top. It's frozen solid. 
kind of looks all the same color on camera but trust me I'm a mad scientist it's alive this happens because water becomes solid when it freezes and it expands and it becomes less dense than the oil and that is what causes it to rise to the top pretty cool right So for the next experiment we're going to do is called cloud in a bottle. And you need an empty two liter bottle and water and matches. It's pretty simple. We're going to fill this up like about a third. Up over here. Okay, so after you've put the water in there, you need to light a match. You hold it, you know, close to the inside, then throw it in. So the smoke is leaving. No. Just do it again. So you leave it in there. Okay, so we're gonna light a match and you leave it up there for a little bit, eventually it'll turn off, then close it. And we will see the smoke begin to foam. So now we're going to squeeze the bottle and then release. And we will see this, the, the cloud appear once you release and disappear once you squeeze. When water is in its invisible gaseous state, it can be, like, it can be made to condense into a cloud. Okay? By adding particles such as smoke, it just like enhances it. And by squeezing the bottle, it causes the air pressure to drop, and this creates a cloud. So I hope you learned something new today with my awesome teaching.